Hello, Monsters of Andrew, and welcome back to Total War Warmer 2 Mortal Empires. Part 17, my Torque, the Brass Ball campaign, as Torque engages some vampires, some scurvy dogs, who are, of course, very missile heavy. Lots of gunnery guys, like this guy. Where is he? There he is. What a guy. Look at him. He's got some stuff going on. A lot of, lot of good stuff. Anywho. We've got a lot of Minotaurs, like the most Minotaurs, and some very slow Giants who are bringing up the rear. The, the, the second wave, assuming that anything survives the first wave, which is, I'll be honest, unlikely. They're getting some early shots in, but uh, they better make them count because they're only going to get the one volley. You better hurry up, Giants. Because this is not going to take very long. And there's Toro. And he spotted the enemy... The enemy vampire fleet admiral. So we need to go and kill him, basically. I've decided we need to go and kill him. The mortars already... Yep, that's it. Go and kill the mortars. That's fine. Um, right, so... This guy here needs to die. Not that there's much of his army left at the moment, anyway. But it looks like Marquis is getting in the way. It's like Torox, like, no, get, no, get, I'm, I'm stuck in your buttocks. Oh, it's the worst. No, he's, no, no, Marquis, no. Oh, he's died already. Oh, that's the, god damn it. Giants, so slow. Okay, hear me out here. Should I get rid of the, the marks and replace them with more Minotaurs? I feel like I was trying to switch it up a little bit, and I feel like I've made a mistake. Oh well. Um, I'll just take the cash, because it's about the only thing I take. And it'll reduce my bestial rage a bit, and then I won't have to worry so much about, um, about Brayhead. Fear of Aramar. That's fair enough. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of damage. I think what I might do is head for Galleon's graveyard and burn it down, because... Well, I mean, do... do I mean, well, I mean, you know, do, do we need to be friends with Noctilus? I think not. I think not. Right, everyone else has moved. What did I send the Brayherd to do? I forgot. It's fine. They'll sort themselves out. Well, well my ambush failed, but... Oh, they've got a lot of outriders. Don't like that. Down with that shenanigans. And a rocket... Oh, no. Okay, well, that... that We've got a, we've got we got cycles. We got Dave. We got the Eye of Morsleb. We got Mark. We got Jeremy. We'll be all right. Keep your heads down, men. They're casting spells. I'm not casting spells. I'm chucking boulders. See? So currently we're trying to chuck boulders at the Outriders. Now the Outriders are a spaced out unit, which means the boulders aren't as effective, but then cycles are actually anti-large. I mean, I say not as effective, but, you know, I mean, it's still pretty effective. I'm also summoning in more cycles. So we've already got uh, another cycle. I've summoned in one. I'm going to summon another one as well. They're, they're chucking rockets at us, but to be honest, that's not really going to bother my cycles. So, uh... Jam plenty. I don't think we are. I think we're, we're not wavering. I've some. I've got six. I've got six cycles on the go now, and we're just chucking rocks at everyone, including at the Hellstorm rocket battery to take that out. The rest of our units are hidden in the forest over here. My Minotaurs are going to get discovered in a second, but that's fine because we can easily take out the Outriders. We do have a unit of demigriffs. That could be a potential problem, but I'm not overly concerned. We're just going to continue to chuck rocks at them until they're all dead. Basically, that's the plan. Out come the Minotaurs, having routed the Outriders. Uh, the Outriders are going to start rallying, but it's not really a big deal. A lovely hit there. Right on, the, right on the red. You can waggle your hellbars all you like. You just got blatted by a mother chuffing rock, mate. I'm going to try and take out those. The handguns are going to be the main problem. So we're going to try and charge them down. Wipe them out. It shouldn't be too difficult because here we've got a speed of 70. Yep. Now look. Much jam. Go. 
people exploding left, right, and center. Demigriffs have they had a lot of rocks chucked at them, and a lot of them are dead. They are going to charge down into Sligals, but of course, because Sligals are... I mean, yes, they are, and they're charging the, the summoned one as well, and, I mean, who, who cares? Right, if he dies, I don't care. I'll just summon a new one. Demigriffs are legging it. They've had enough. Now come the Bestigals as well to come and help out, but to be honest, at this point, the Minotaurs have pretty much wiped out the rest of the Empire army. An army with a lot of missile cavalry would certainly be a problem. Probably not unbeatable. But if it, like, just shot us and then retreated, um, that that would be bad. That's probably how I would deal with this this sort of army, to be honest, because a Beastman army like that is, is pretty terrifying. Okay, we've got a lot of Talabeklin. We're going to go and burn Altdorf, because we burned most of our other cities. Just hope they haven't built defences. Uh, Brayhead destroyed. Don't care. Manish Thrall. Don't care. Enemy killed. Morty's a lone wolf. Which is a bit upsetting when he's got... Oh, I forgot to rename him. Oh, I started with a battle. That's why. That's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. Good. Telsian, you're going to get... No, immortality. I forgot to get that. Need to get immortality. Right. Um, what what's the garrison like here? Oh, fuck me. How have they got... Oh, because it's an empire faction, isn't it? Oh, fuck's sake. Because <sighs> Vlad took it, but didn't have defences there. And the reason he didn't have defences there was because you don't get defence... Right, whereas an empire faction will get defence... Anyway, that's the point. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, we'll continue the siege. No biggie. Then we'll bring Morty in to help out. Can we auto resolve this? Yeah, that's probably fine. And uh, oh, let's take the let's take the growth. A little bit of extra growth for Morty would pr not Morty for Ragush, who I need to rename at some point. I'll get around to it. Maybe one day. We're blessed by evil. Ah, oh, that's nice. Nice to be blessed by evil. Uh, right, Amber Spear, best one in the game. We'll grab that. Don't at me. Uh, let's get Pit Hovel. There we go. Okay, we need to right. We need to destroy Talabeklin because they they have vexed me for long enough. Do I want to go and kill these jerks, or shall I just sail around it? If I go here. I'm still going to take attrition. Okay, no problem. Maybe we'll land on Ulth one and just burn our way up the coast just for, you know, just for old time's sake. They have actually... Oh, well, I mean, Malekith is now actually... I, I destroyed a lot of Ulth one and now Malekith is coming up to clean up the remains. And frankly, after doing all his dirty work for him, I feel like I deserve a gold star. I won't get one, though. Life is just unfair. So much money. So much money just down the drain. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, right, Ragush. Kill the... What, really? Fuck's sake. I... I think you should be fine. Right, maybe. Probably be alright. Okay, all right. I thought that'd be easy. Apparently, it's not going to be easy. We're going to send... That, that's how you do it. That's how you bloody do it. Bong, 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 bong. Everyone dead. Lovely. Okay, let's bring you down here. Let's bring you down here. We need to... Right, Ragush, we need to get you some more stuff because, frankly, currently, what you've got is is garbage so have some more ungor who are bad also more amber spear because that's good right we'll sail up here 
Oh, look, there's the Shrine of Loic. We could land there, burn it, and then... Oh, we're replenishing anyway. Are we? How the fuck are we doing that? All right, well, that that's good. No problem. That's fine. Apparently we're replenishing. Right, we're going to go and land. We're going to bring uh, Torok back to the old world after going down to beat up uh, Marcus for no particular reason. Just felt like something that had to happen. And it did. And it was anticlimactic at best. Oh. Didn't know you could get that. Um, yeah, apparently the Ripen's back. They're in Altdorf. Right. Ragash, go and show me how it's done. Right, yes, we're going to... Yes, we're going to fucking declare war. Yes, we're going to declare war. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? In one turn? Baldrick! Oh, my God. I'm going to have an embolism. Aneurysm. Impulse and embolism. Is that worse? Is it better? I can't remember. Fuck it. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Okay. Oh, axes of corn. Not very good, though. Corn is not sending his best. Let's be honest. Not sending his best. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. Do I have... Do I have a growth person? Uh, what have you... Is that... We don't need growth in that army. So you have that. In fact, I'm surprised I haven't gone through and modified what Torok has actually got. Because I could give you the war banner. Let's do that. Let's give you that. We've got Flying Spy, quite like that. Chaos Corruption is garbage. We don't need that. Physical Resistance. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. The Flying Spy is uh, it's not, not the worst. I'm tempted to go and destroy the Shrine of Light, but it's, it's just... Like, do I need to do that? No. Oh, and I've managed to land in, in Attrition. Good stuff. Landed straight in the Attrition. Right in the Attrition. Holy shit. Best place to land. No problem. Let's go. Call of Morslip. Uh, we've got research. Uh, do I want a true horn? Or do I, do, I, do I need a true horn? Or Messenger of the Bray? Let's go with that. Hero cost reduction, which I don't have any heroes. Well, not, not wandering around because can't. I mean, can I afford more? I was looking at getting more Gorbals, wasn't I? And then I was like looking at the, the traits they had because I wanted more weapon strength. I remember. <sighs> okay. The Dark Moon. I'm tempted to go for more Horde growth, but none of my units will replenish. Is that a big deal? Mm, six turns? Mm. Ah, that's fine. I feel like Ragush could probably use. Alright. You come down here. You're going to burn Uber's Reich. Just about. More growth. Get a potion of toughness. That's good. Right, now, you need to stay here. Because, right, and we're going to merge all of these goons. All of these goons. Fine. You've got a skill point. We're going to grab that one. Because what we're going to do is four turns. Are you shitting me? Four fucking... Right. Let's go for the squalid encampment. And seeing as you're not going to be moving about very much, let's just... Right, I've been, I've been looking at the stats, right? So, the difference between the ones with the shields and the ones without is... I'm not going to look at those because there's a regiment of renowned. Right. So basically, these guys have more melee defense and a shield... But they don't have slightly additional weapon strength against... Like, they don't have the bonus infantry, which is 18. Now, frankly, with these stats they have, it doesn't really matter if they don't 
have that slight extra damage. So I'm going to say the Minotaurs with shields, despite being obviously the worst Minotaurs, are actually the best Minotaurs. And also, I'm going to burn Altdorf again. So it turns out the Empire factions, and I, I think I knew this, can basically like resurrect other Empire factions by going to their capital and resettling it. So that is apparently what they're doing. Now that obviously makes my life more difficult. Because if if you've got a little dickish like fucking Midland army, they can just go, oh, I'm going to go and resettle Altdorf, resettle Altdorf, off they go, I have to raise it, that takes my entire turn. That means effectively they can just do that every turn forever, and I, as, as long as I, I need an army there to deal with it, and because it instantly resurrects its garrison, it this is driving me nuts. I, I thought the Wurzag campaign was bad. At least that didn't feel like... Okay, that, that, that was pretty bad, but at least it didn't... Okay, it did feel pretty bad, but at least it... Who's who's the guy in Greek mythology who, like, has to push that boulder up a, a hill? That That's basically the Beastman campaign. That 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 is what that is. Holy shit. There's a man coming out of nowhere for a little, little voyage. Hello? Oh, you want to jo Um, alright. You can join my war against... against Tyrion, if you like. I'm not... massively into it, but fine. Um, also... We've got this going on. So Boris has set up camp... in Altdorf, rather than going to resettle it again. So we'll have to deal with that. We will go and deal with that. But first, let's get... Let's go and head for home. I say home, the Empire. So we can, you know, burn it. Can we auto-resolve this? Shall we try attacking that army first? Can we get an ambush? No, but we can't easily auto-resolve it. So let's do that. Uh, let's set the replenishment. Bong, bong, bong. And then raise into file. And then camp. And then camp. Okay, Telsian, you're going to get to the onslaught. Okay, so far so good. Also, we've got a, a Bray Herd. So go and play in the traffic. Go and leave me alone. Hopefully they don't have more. Well, they, I, know, I know they've got more armies. I know they've got more armies. Mm, oh well. Brayhead destroyed. Yeah, that's pretty much all they would do. They just die. They just die. Right, Minotaurs. Yes, that's what we need. And a rude burrow. Like a rotten burrow. <sighs> okay. Okay. What am I going to do about this? What am I going to... I need to basically, like head over to where the dwarves are because if then if I burn stuff at least the dwarves will take it and then the empire can't have it and that apparently is the way to win seems a bit mental but apparently that's where we are right now that's that's the situation call to more slip that'll do it that'll do it I mean god I really hope in Warhammer 3 that they they overhaul Chaos Warriors and Beastmen. That is my desperate hope because God, even with the mods, it's still annoying. And not even just because like the, the Beastmen themselves aren't actually that bad. Oh, they're the dwarves. Oh, that was me looking for the dwarves, and apparently they're right here. That's good. Like I I think hordes need. I'm not even sure why you're declaring war on me. I think the hordes aren't particularly well constructed like they were an interesting idea in was it barbarian invasion they first turned up was it or was it a, was it a tiller was it tiller the, the i think they were in barbarian invasion weren't they but i don't think they were this 
like this. Whereas I think that the the, the, the modern day hordes that we have first turned up in in Total War Attila, and at least you could settle if you weren't the Mong. No, if you weren't the Hun, that's it. If you weren't the Hun, at least you could have set. At least you could settle. At least that was a thing you could do. But you, you can't do that as beastie boys. Don't have the option. It's sad. Ah, more minus horse. Good. So I don't know what the solution is, but I feel like it needs one. What does, uh, we'll sail to the wreck. Uh, apparently they've spawned out to sea. I'm gonna... Hello. Hello, sir. No? Okay. Because we, we landed. So apparently we're here now. That's fine. Won't worry too much about that. I'm going to raid your shit. Have it. Send everything you got. I'll kill them all. So I don't know what the solution to fixing hordes is. But... It's... It's got to have something to do with ink. Did the dwarves just declare... What just happened? The, yeah, okay. Wait, what? Why? Why Skaven friends? Why? Oh, okay. I'm going to kill you. And then eat you. Thanks. Thanks for dropping by. Are the dwarves at war with some other factions? Because I'm fairly sure that was owned by Hockland. Are they at war with Hockland? Because if so, that's, that's great. That's perfect. Blah, 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 blah. No. They've got a military alliance with them. Did something else happen over here? Because I'm sure Altdorf was, was Hocklands before. I think they're going to head down. Like, they've got a real desire to go and resettle everything. So I'm going to just head over here out of their way. Just in case they want to go and resettle Uber's Reich. And obviously we're not replenishing at the moment. So it would be a bad idea to run into them. Don't want to do that. Okay. I guess we'll just head in this direction. I'm just going to continue to raid because anyone wants to go, bring it. Bring it, nerds. Ozzy Oxborn, I'm going to give you a Razor Gore Chariot. You've already got Amber Spear, so you're already the most powerful Bray Shaman in our armies. But, you know, little, little Chariot, that's going to work out quite nicely. Give you some wheels. Pimp that ride. Uh, let's do that upkeep for Minotaurs, because now we have Minotaurs. In fact, I should probably just recruit all Minotaurs, because then you can just auto-resolve your way through battles, as is tradition. Hello. Albrecht is bringing it, apparently. Oh god, he's got Dwarf reinforcements as well. Can I kill three stacks at the same time? Guess there's only one way to find out. Uh, sure. This could, this could be tough. I, I was like, yeah, bring it. And now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have told them to bring it. Maybe I should have brought... Bring less? Oof. That's... That's a lot of stuff. Maybe I should have been a little less ballsy, but, um... It's probably fine, right? I mean, they've only got, what, three stacks against our one? It'd be all right. Talking of stacks, one of them's coming in right behind us. That's a mistake. So already, at least, you know, some of the enemy army is, is fleeing off. However, that does mean that the units that would have come on over here are, well... Because these guys would have taken up some of the slots of reinforcements, which I suspect they've probably got, you know, more reinforcements coming, means that there's probably just going to be more units coming onto the battlefield now anyway, so it's not really dealing with anything for us. Um, it just means that the the unending wave of enemy troops is going to be slightly larger. Now, we've kind of in a good position here because we've got a big hill to hide behind, so I'm just going to stay behind this hill until the enemy army gets a little bit closer. And I'm going to send Torok up top to just, A, draw in the enemy army, because at the moment they're like, where the hell are they? And then they spot a Torok and they're like, okay, he's over there, we'll get him. And uh, also, it means I can see where they are. 
Now, unfortunately, it's going to take them friggin' ages to get over here. So rather than make you watch them slowly trudge their way over, I'm just going to speed up. I swear that took ages. Like, even at times three speed. Albrick is charging some of our Minotaurs. And, yeah, I don't know who he is either. But he's going to come charging down. He's going to try and chuck something at us. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. It's some sort of... He's basically giving us a bath. But he's actually doing quite a lot of damage. And he's going to lend lightning... Jesus. He's got a lot of weapon strength. Oh my god, he's let... He's just... He's frying my Minotaurs. Guys, get over here. I need Metallica. I need Medium Raw. Get get your ass over here. Sort him out. He's murdering my miner. Get him. He's prodding them with a fork. He wants some steak. Okay. He's, he's off. He's gone. Enemy archers are now in range. They can spot us as well, so they can start opening fire. That's a bit of a problem. Torok is just weathering the um, the pox arrows so far. Our giants are moving up to try and engage the main force while our minotaurs rush over to deal with the influx of very highly ranked knights of the realm. So we're going to deal with that. And then we're going to... I probably should have spread my units out a little bit, but I was a little bit worried that they might go berserk and get sort of separated. So Torok is sort of die himself, but to be honest, at this point, I think Torok might be invincible because he regenerates... He's got stupid amounts of ward save, and well, basically all the all the missile, all the all the weapon strength. That's it. I was gonna say missile attack, no nope, weapon strength in the world. So he can basically just kill his way through anything that gets gets in his way when he's actually attacking something. Torok, are you gonna hit something, or are you just gonna no? Don't worry. Okay, the dwarves I've sort of set up down here. They are pounding us with artillery, at least the units they can see. Our giants are in a little bit of trouble, but at least they're sort of like, you know, keeping the cannons busy, so that's good. The Minotaurs are hacking their way through the waves of Bretonian infantry. But we're taking a lot of missile fire. However, we have managed to rout Albrick, which does mean they should have a bit of a morale penalty. So we just need to kill our way through, you know, all of the Bretonians. Let's have a look at the numbers. So they've got they've got three and a half thousand, but it is dropping quite quickly as we, you know, murder everyone. Taking some cannon shots there. Oh god, my poor poor Mark. He's getting filled with arrows. I might lose some giants. Marquis is surrounded by Bretonian infantry, but frankly, they don't really stand a chance against him. He's just going to shout at them until they all die. Our Minotaurs are charging down, and I really think I need to take out the dwarves at this point because I'm just getting those cannons are just pounding me relentlessly. So they need to be dealt with. Mark is shouting at a cannon and has made it explode thanks to shouting. And my Minotaurs are coming down to help out, but they are getting intercepted by rallying Bretonian units. And plus, some, I mean, one unit of Minotaurs is actually down here, kind of stuck. They went berserk. They've now sort of regained their senses, but now they're surrounded by Bretonian infantry by themselves, which is not a good place to be in. Torok has attacked the enemy general and has whacked him twice and taken him down to not much health. Some slayers. Did you just do a back roll? That was impressive. Torok is up to 74 kills. Man, that's 75, 77. No one's going to stop him. 85. Good job. Here come the Minotaurs to help. They're going to throw themselves at the Dwarf Infantry. Let's look at the kill count. Okay, yes. We have lost. We've lost. Definitely lost some Minotaurs. But, I mean, the, the enemy troop count is dropping very, very rapidly. So our Minotaurs now in amongst the Dwarves, smashing their way through. Mark here down to under 1,000 health, but he's still up. He's still fighting. Some of our Minotaurs have routed over here. There's not many of them left. Uh, just three. It's the it's the Jammy Moomins. Looks like we, we lost quite a few Minotaurs down there. That's unfortunate, but we are smashing our way through the Dwarf Infantry. And that Dwarf Lord is actually on his way back. 
We're taking out those missile units. They're the dangerous ones. They're the ones filling us full of um, arrows. Torok has lost... I mean, he's lost some health, but he's regenerating so fast. It doesn't really matter. And he spotted the Dwarf Lord, who is now in a lot of trouble. He's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I'd choose life. No, too late. Super too late. He's, he's half the Dwarf he used to be. With the death of their lord, the dwarves are now overrun. There's minotaurs everywhere. We are still taking quite a lot of missile fire from the rallying Bretonian uh, missile units and also the ones we didn't catch that ran away and have just returned to start just shooting us. So we're taking missile damage from every direction. Most of our minotaurs have gone berserk. Some of them are just standing around not doing much. A little bit of shades there is going to suck off those uh, Bugman's Rangers. Poor old Oxal Rose. He's got a few kills. Not too bad. Where's Torok? There he is. With 149 kills. Not bad. I reckon Torok could probably just kill an enemy army by himself. We might might have to do that if we get attacked again after this. But fortunately it looks like... The enemy armies have shattered. Which is just as well. Because we lost half our army. Although, you know, they lost three of theirs. Well, I mean, they threw four stacks of troops at us. Well, three, really. Let's call it three. Three stacks of troops at us, and we lost one unit of Minosaurs. So, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. I am absolutely fine with that. I think we've shown them who's boss. Hammer and Anvil. Yeah, damn right. Good defender. Yeah, Torok is a very good defender. Although, you know, the best attack. No, the best defense is definitely attack with Minotaurs. That's, that is the best... Oh, he's finally turned up. Word is spreading across the land of a dark power rising in the northern wastes. The armies of chaos are on the move. They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm not holding my breath. Well, for the forces of chaos spare no one in their quest for bloodshed. Yeah, well, yeah, fine, whatever. Um... Let's allow us. Let's get. Oh, I mean, there's a fair few stacks there, but to be honest, I'm not. I'm not holding my breath unless we can get up there to help them. Maybe. Maybe we can link up with them. We might actually be able to do some damage. That could. That might not be the worst idea. I'd forgotten we weren't replenishing, are we? I'd forgotten that. Um. Okay. If we go and. I mean, I just don't think we can probably take on more stuff i don't want to lose how long have we got to go one turn right okay we just need to stay hidden for one more turn and we'll be fine let's go and hide a little bit more just in case and we're gonna get the rocky shelter let's get the bloody lair you are do i want to give you more st yeah i need to get rid of all of this trash I said, I need to get rid of all of this trash. And... Something like that would be quite nice. And then obviously we need to replace the, the unit of, of Minotaurs that got crushed. That's not how I recruit Minotaurs. This is... Yes, good. I remember how to recruit stuff. It's fine. Um, let's get shields. Because again... Shields seem to be the best thing, to be honest. Uh, uh, we could have... Okay, let's get the rocky shelter. I guess we'll get the dugout. It's almost the last thing left. And I'll get the, the chaos spawn building as well, just because... You know, just for completion's sake. Okay, medium raw. It's a funny name. No, not indomitable. That's useless. Get the uh, devastating charge. There we go. Um, I think Torok might well be invulnerable at this point. I don't... I, th I think he... If I maybe I just had sent him to fight the entire enemy army by himself, I reckon he probably would have eventually won. It just would have taken a little while. But I reckon he probably could have done it. Especially with the Sword of Cain going off as well. That would... That would probably do it. I should have just sent him. Okay. So Chaos have arrived... I just need to sit tight for maybe a turn just to replenish. We would have been alright, but that that 
bloody moon event, which I, I think it was a good, you know, worth taking it. Have, have those boys. Worth taking it, but it does tend to slow you down quite a bit. Weapon Master. Uns Hello, that's what we wanted. We'll pop, put him in Ragush's army. That'll buff them up. Unless I want to maybe... Do I swap him over with Medium Raw? No, Medium Raw has... That's the wrong button. Mutalica doesn't have the... He's got Cunning. To be honest, I've probably got enough weapon strength in that army. It's probably fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm going I'm to say it's fine. Right. I'm now... It Basically, I'm going to pick off any Empire settlements I find. Any non-Empire settlements, I'm going to leave alone. Are you the army that I kicked the shit out of just now? Maybe? I think you are. If I order... Hang on, let's quick save it. Yeah, we won't do that. Because... Ow. Let's, let's reload that quick save. Because I'm like, oh, that, that's a bugger. I might just ignore it. I might just ignore him for the moment. Because I need to get that replenishment. You know what? I'm going to ignore this army. And it's not because I'm worried about losing units. It is because, actually, leaving them alive means they might be able to resettle other provinces. So that's entirely the reason. Have I just been discovered as well? Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Because I declined to intercept. Oh, bollocks. Son of a... I would have been discovered... So, so basically, as soon as I intercept something, I'm discovered... Because if I attack the army, I'd still be discovered. If I decline, I still get discovered. So basically, actually being able to intercept stuff is actually a bit shit. Okay, never mind. We've got Torok, the brass bull. So maybe he can kill everyone for us. Or maybe we'll just need some new minotaurs. Well, that I have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.